Welcome to Joa Fitness Health Wellness Video Podcast, a space to ignite your day through positive conversations. We bring people that have created excellence in their life, sharing high vibration in their reawakening path. Hello, my friends, you are listening to Back Into Alignment. And I am Joa Rivas. I'm here in the city of Toronto. I'm so excited. Today's Friday and it's another episode with uh, Dr. Ernest Pecoraro. He's actually uh, in New Jersey and we had him last week where we actually chatted about the EPI technique. This podcast is all about back alignment in all levels and I'm learning so much with all these doctors that I interview this time we're learning about the epic technique which is an, a technique that is based from the atlas of the spine which is actually the neck and the realignment of the neck that can actually uh, generate a cascade of great results so uh, first of all I wanted to welcome you to have any questions and comments uh, at any time in our in, in the call, if you feel that something relates to you, we welcome you to write um, any type of stories that you can share with us or questions related to the spine. I actually created this podcast because I had scoliosis when I was 15 years old and the scoliosis was with chronic back pain. And it was for 10 years, from 15 to 25 years old, I used to wake up and go to sleep with pain in my back, not only on my lower back, but in the entire back from neck to the, to the bottom. And after 10 years practicing yoga and Pilates, not, I not only generated a consistent practice, but I actually became a, a teacher. So I, I've been doing yoga and Pilates as a teacher since 2010. And it's been very helpful for me to be adding this practice on a daily basis and also to support all my students all over the world. And, um, and then, unfortunately, as I was saying in the last episode, I was diagnosed with arthritis, osteoarthritis, and also four bulging discs and one, um, one sleep disc. So my pain is back after 12 years with no pain. The pain is back in my body. And I only say that pain is a teacher. I'm learning one more time to understand why I'm having this uh, discomfort and how can I heal it by letting doctors and specialists to help me with this pain because definitely it's not only in my mind, it's actually a physical pain. I do have this uh, diagnosis after doing MRI. So it's also a reminder, if you are feeling pain, never ignore it, try to find the diagnose properly. And then from there, you can find the, the, the physicians, the doctors that can help you. Today, I'm here with, uh, again, Dr. Ernest uh, Pecoraro. He's in New Jersey. How are you? Welcome. I'm great. Alignment. Thank you for having me again. I, I really enjoyed last time and speaking with you and uh, educating your listeners. Yes, it was so uh motivating your story how you actually after deciding to retire you actually came back in a different journey as a as a chiropractor a little bit different because you decided to bring this epi technique and can you please remind us what was the epi technique uh, and i know last episode we went deep into what it is but can you please remind us what epi technique sure uh, epic technique um, is a technique with chiropractic that um, puts all its attention on the first vertebra in the spine called the atlas, because all the um, signals from the brain go down the spinal cord, but they pass through the atlas, which is, moves differently than all the other vertebra, so you can move your head in different directions. Uh, so what we do is we find out how that atlas is out of place and affecting the blood flow, and the nerves, and that we use x-rays and um, engineering software to analyze those x-rays to find exactly how that atlas is out of place. And then we input it into our adjusting instrument and we adjust that uh, atlas back into its proper place for that person uh, using a painless sound wave. And usually the people don't even know that they were treated because 
they don't feel it, but they do feel the effects afterwards. Mm -hmm. So using these cutting edge sound wave technology, you can actually experience changes. In, and I actually looking forward to do this because I do have an issue in my, in my neck after a uh, whiplash that I went into a car accident like a 2011. So it's still there. I still feel some pin and needles if I actually compress my, my traps. So actually mm -hmm. this technique, I'm very curious to, to see and to learn more about it. One question about this technique, do you actually also do some assessment about the eye and the body and the spine, the eye connection with the spine? Is there any specific assessment that you can actually uh, take us through uh, related to the eye vision? Yes, well, what we do is we first, uh, through a consultation, find out what's going on with the person. And if it's possible that it's caused by the atlas being out of place, then we do an assessment where we check different things and different um, uh, manifestations in the person's body to determine if the atlas is out of place. We check the length of the legs because usually if the atlas is out of place, it causes spasm on one side of the spine than the other, and it pulls up on one leg to appear to be shorter. And then we check the lower back muscles. And when we're feeling the lower back muscles, most of the time you'll have spasm on one side of those muscles uh, compared to the other. And then the, uh, we do a, uh, another assessment by checking the strength of the shoulder muscles with the person putting their head to one side or the other. And very often we'll see when they do it one side, the arm strength will weaken. And so we know that the atlas is pressing on some nerves there that go down into the shoulder and weaken it. And the, the last thing we do is we do a balance test where the person marches in place with their eyes closed and we can tell if the person's center of gravity is off. Now, all of that tells us that the atlas is out is the most probable cause of some problems in the eyes. Like uh, I had a patient and she had a um, spot in the eye where she couldn't see out of for many years. Went to many ophthalmologists, nobody could tell her what was wrong. Once we treated the atlas, that blind spot went away. So it definitely has effect on all the nerves that go into the head and face and also the rest of the body. Yes, we do have something called eye converger, convergers. But the mm -hmm. convergence is basically if you are able to track an object inwards. And actually that test, I apply this test when I practice my posture uh, program. I actually have a program where I support people with posture. And we realize that our eye and our spine is intrinsically connected through our brain. Uh, there are tons of um, nerve and muscles related that can actually affect our balance as you were commenting. And uh, great that you actually do this marching uh, step uh, to check the balance and see if uh, training both eyes uh, to function symmetrically is, is so important. Now, today I wanted to go into one specific topic that I've been getting a lot of questions. And actually my mom suffers of migraines for many years since she's, she's a kid. Uh, many of people close to me, they suffer of migraines and headaches. And actually this could be related to the atlas, right? Of uh, the, the cervical that could be compressing some of the, of the areas related to the brain and body connection. So can you please tell us about the headache, like you as a doctor, that you get so many people with this issue and it's so hard, right? When we have a headache, we, we definitely, our mood changes, our, our uh, ability to create productivity, it drops. So can you please tell us more about this uh, uh, worldwide disease that affects mm -hmm. us? Yes, there, there are different types of headaches, but the most common ones are migraines, or tension headaches. Uh, both we have seen are caused by the atlas being out of place. When the atlas is out of place, it affects the major blood supply to the brain because it pushes on the internal jugular vein and also the internal carotid arteries, which are arteries very close to the atlas. So if the atlas 
has moved out of place and rotated, it puts pressure there. And it can cause um, lack of blood or buildup of blood in the head causing migraines. Uh, there's also uh, a part in the spinal cord at the level of the atlas, which is the trigeminal, affects the trigeminal nerve, which can cause that also. Um, also with tension headaches, it's the same cause. Like we had one woman who had migraines every day and a lot of people who suffer from migraines, it affects their life where they have to go in a dark room and not have any light right. or, yeah, any, right. or any sound. Mm -hmm. So this one woman, she had it, she had a, a, a couple of children and she would have to go in and um, go in a dark room and it was affecting her so much that she had taken four medications every day and a shot once a, um, a month to control it. And once we found that her atlas was out and we put it in, that woman had slowly started to get off all the medications. And she went from having migraines every day to after a week or two, having one slight headache. And now that's gone too. Mm, wow, that's very a positive story. And uh, so this lady that she could not receive light um, what would be the, the, the correlation between the light and the triggering of the headache? Well, also, so people can, uh, with migraines, you could trigger a headache with sound or light or something you eat, uh, something you hear. All these things will irritate and set off the, the trigeminal nerve, which okay. is the nerve most uh, affected for migraines. Okay, okay, okay. So it gets irritated by some of these factors. Definitely food, I noticed food and also dehydration that can also mm -hmm. create a lot of, of the headaches. Um, now we know that the eyes are directly conduct with the brain and they're form of the brain tissue. So mm -hmm. like you're saying, did you notice on this case that you were commenting on this lady, did she have any type of eye complication related to the headache? Did you get to kind of see this in, in this case? Yeah, she did have sensitivity to light. So, and actually when you have a migraine, there's usually a um, something that's telling you that the migraine is going to come in. Come in. Sensitivity to light, uh, sometimes a little nausea, um, different things like that you know, tension, feeling tension or irritation or anxiety, nervousness. Uh, after that happens, then you know that the headache is coming and then the headache will come, the migraine. Oh, yes. And in terms of the therapy that you did for this lady, did you do any type of body and eye coordination beside the uh, uh, misalignment of the, the arrangement of the misalignment of the neck? No, we haven't done anything like that. All we did was find that the uh, atlas was rotated and putting pressure in the area where the blood vessels were. And, and the therapy was based from the sound wave. That's the, that's the way how you actually realign the, the atlas of the, of the spine? Yes. Yeah, so once we took the x-rays and, and uh, analyzed them with the spinal engineering software, we got the exact coordinates to place into the sound wave machine. And then that will aim it. So when the sound wave comes out, it will put the bone back in place because the coordinates are aiming it in the direction it needs to go to replace the atlas to its proper location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how many therapies were you saying that this lady received to be able to decrease the amount of migraine or frequency that she had? So far, she only had two treatments over okay. a period of six weeks. Okay. And these treatments, how long is the treatment? The treatment takes to, you have to set up the patient uh, in a certain way according to their anatomy. So when you adjust the atlas, everything else aligns in place in the neck. So that takes probably five to 10 minutes 
And then once we aim the sound wave, we just press a button and within a second, it's done. And then okay. we bring the person back into position and check a few things to like the leg lengths and the, um, the spine, the lower spine to see if there's uh, still spasm there. And then we feel the neck to make sure that there's no more swelling in the atlas, uh, uh, the area of the atlas. Mm, wow. So it's not so uh, long, it's only more precise. Yeah, so it's very precise. And once the atlas is holding in place, then the healing can occur because the pressure is off the areas and then the nervous system and the brain starts to work. Like we all have, uh, everybody has an immune system and a system in your body so the body will heal itself and it will attack areas that are damaged and start to um, heal it. So as long as the, the atlas is in, it's not interfering with the signals from the brain to the body to heal. Mm -hmm. Well, there are approximately 45 million of Americans complaining about headaches each year. And if you feel that you're one of them having constant headaches and migraines, then maybe it's time to find a different approach like the EPIC technique. Um, now that we see the, the way, I wanted to know if, have you treated not only adults, but also kids? Uh, yes, we've treated kids, but with EPIC technique, you can only treat a, a child who is like four or five years old or older. Okay. Because they don't stand still for the x-rays. Okay. But you could still adjust the atlas. It just won't be as specific. But children, uh, because they're young and their immune systems are so strong, you don't have to be as specific if they're under four or five years old. Um, you can move the atlas by hand or by a handheld device, and you can get results. And then when they hit the age where they can stand still for the x-rays, then you can make sure it's in place. And if it's a little bit out, you can put it back in. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And for this case that you were saying, did, you, did she actually have like any car accident or something that actually had that misalignment of the neck? Or what, what was the main cause of having that issue on the cervical? Yeah, what we find is during the consultation, I always ask, have you ever had a car accident? Have you ever um, hit your head? Uh, even a minor car accident? And people usually, most people will say, no, I've never had that. And But then we trace it back and they remember maybe 10, 20 years ago, they had some kind of problem. Like uh, so one person told me, well, when I was five years old, I, I hit my head. And once the atlas goes out, doesn't mean you're gonna feel symptoms right away. It could take 10, 20 years before you start to feel these weird neurological um, symptoms because the nerve starts to deteriorate over time and you don't feel it till later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it could be something that happened many years ago. So yeah, in my case, I actually, like I was telling you, in 2011, I got into this uh, car accident in a whiplash. Uh, I did therapies, but I never have done this uh, epic technique mm -hmm. uh, approach. So I'm actually curious, is that actually causing me the, the cascade of issues that I've been having? Uh, mm -hmm. So that would be very interesting for me. I, I wish I can find epic technique here in Canada. I know you are there in mm -hmm. New Jersey. Uh, have you noticed this year, 2022, that the amount of cases of headaches, migraines have been increasing? Uh, yes, I have uh, headaches, problems with the jaw, uh, a lot of problems with the neck because there's a lot of tension that people are going through, either financially or they lose their job or a lot of different things. And once you have tension, like, uh, you know, the, once the brain um, has tension, you can feel it in other parts of the body. So when you're stressed, it can cause 
if the atlas is out, it can cause the manifestations to be even worse. If the atlas is out and then you have stress, it can pull the atlas out even more and cause more problems symptom-wise, such as headaches, jaw pain, neck pain, different things like that. And that's what we've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Well, we have here a list of probably causes of migraines that it could be also factors that can perhaps uh, trigger your headaches. Uh, it could be uh, menstrual cycles in women. Mm -hmm. Many women come to me, I'm a wellness coach, and I get this constant uh, symptom. Oh, I have menstrual cycle, I have migraines, I have headaches. Uh, it could also be related to high levels of stress, like you say, after pandemic, through pandemic, and now passing through recession, it brings a lot of headaches, right? And yeah. it's even an expression, like, oh, what a headache, right? It's just simply an expression how we relate stress with, uh, with, with, uh, with, with headaches. Um, like you're saying, when we do have a neck stiffness, uh, like an, that is a stiff, this mm -hmm. will create that uh, pinched nerve that over the time can actually generate real issues as the ones that you're commenting. Um, now that we actually learning of this epic technique, uh, I wanted to know for you as a doctor that actually regain this uh, curiosity and this uh, passion back into into practice because your daughter was healed. Like um, if you haven't uh, heard the last episode um, where we actually chatted why he came back to work, basically his daughter mm -hmm. had uh, a lower back pain. She was treated with epic technique. Uh, after many attempts finding the solution, she found the, the way to heal her lower back pain by realigning the neck, the, the, the atlas of the neck with the epic technique. And this brought uh, Dr. Percoraro the, the fascination about this technique. And, and then he brought it back into, into a spreading again in, in all over New Jersey. So uh, I wanted to, to, to know for you if what would be your ideal uh, idea world for that for some for the chiropractors and everyone like physiotherapists to be able to spread this technique where perhaps we do have so much issues because we don't know about it like I actually never heard that technique uh, until I, I interview you so I wanted to know like for you what would be one of the the ways to spread this world like what would you like to do would you like to have like a institute to teach this to practitioners uh, what, how would you see this in a very positive uh, vision? Well, what, what's happening now is the, um, uh, the doctor, Dr. Pierce, who started the technique, has been going to the different chiropractic schools and uh, teaching um, this technique in uh, boot camps where you go, uh, chiropractors who've been trained already go for uh, from five o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock at night, and they learn all the technique over a seven uh, day period, and they go several times to get certified. And um, he's doing that, but we're trying to get it in the curriculum of all the chiropractic schools so people know. And th that's one reason why he started the franchise. I'm actually the first franchise that has been opened with it. So if someone, but what happened is he ha he's had people from all over the country go to his place in Florida, but, and, and in New Jersey, I used to send people to him all the time. And so what he wanted to do is spread it with a franchise. So if you were in California and you're visiting New Jersey and you need a treatment, you could go and we would be sharing the files and you could get the treatment wherever you go. So that's what my vision is to help him accomplish that. Mm -hmm. To spread, to spread this technique uh, all over. That would be so nice if we could actually have it. I have no hair about it. For my issues, I'm only trigger, uh, I'm only treating the the slip disc, which is what causes me the most pain in my pelvic area, my lower back area. Is I'm doing ultrasound and shock wave, which is mm -hmm. only for that specific area. 
uh, as I'm talking to you, I'm not uh, using epi technique on my on my on my ad on my cervical. So this will be actually a very interesting way for me if I actually just realign my my atlas. Maybe that will help me a lot with what's happening mm -hmm. in, in the bottom of my body. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I wish I can find someone here in Canada. Do you know if you have any any um, any directory where we actually can check doctors all over the world, or is only in in America? It's only in America. Um, actually, people have come from 34 different countries to get this treatment. When I was getting trained in the office in Florida, uh, Dr. Pierce's office, I, I saw people from the UAE coming all the way from there, uh, people from Italy coming from a lot of different countries coming into the office because someone in the United States had told them about it, like relatives, uh, friends who who came and immigrated to this country and told them you need to go to this doctor because they couldn't get help anywhere else. So that's the whole idea is to get get this spread all over the world so people don't have to travel so far mm -hmm. uh, to get it. Yes, exactly. Well, it's great to hear about how this technique not only helps to realign the spine and feel great, but also to reduce headaches and, and migraines. As uh, you know, the headaches and migraines actually affect more women than, than men. And perhaps because we do have the hormonal changes a little bit more abrupt than, than men. Uh, but definitely for all the audience that have listened to this, I think it's, uh, it's a very great way to, to find solutions, reduce the painkillers. As you see, a lot of people are just uh, depending into Advil, Motrin, and all these um, uh, overuse uh, uh, medicines that can actually affect your, your body, your, your liver. And I try to avoid all type of um, painkillers if I can especially when, when I find techniques like these. So I'm actually very curious. I'm going to have to go to U.S. very soon to, to do one of these techniques because I, I'm very, very curious. Now, the more I hear about it, the, the more I want to try, especially now that mm -hmm. I'm in pain back again after 12 years, mm -hmm. so for sure. Uh, I want to go back into alignment, but her epic technique is, will be one of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm learning so much with you, uh, Dr. Ernest. I wanted to, to know a little bit more of you. I love music and mm -hmm. I love dancing. And I wanted to know yeah. what is your song, like the song that makes you dance and enlightens and mm -hmm. your, feel your spirit vibrant. What mm -hmm. would be that now in this season? Well, uh, I'll tell you, but uh, don't laugh. No, no, <laughs> I, no, I'm not gonna laugh, I, tell me. I have a 15 month old daughter, a uh, granddaughter and she has this, um, her favorite song that she plays over and over again and she dances to, and it's called um, Baby Shark. Baby <laughs> so, what? Baby Shark. It, shark? it goes, shark, yes. Yeah. They say baby shark, then uh, mommy shark, then daddy shark, then grandma shark, then grandpa shark, and then she dances to it all the time. So oh. whenever it goes on, she will move and dance and then point at me to make me dance. So oh, that's nice, been my nice. favorite. And uh, she asks for it all the time. She points to the uh, um, Alexis and to, you know, she wants me to tell Alexis to play it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I love, I love mm -hmm. it. I love it because that connects you to your family. How old mm -hmm. is your granddaughter? 15 months. Oh, okay, she's very little. Yeah. Oh, sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. Um, so nice. Well, baby shark makes you dance yeah. and makes you connect to your to your granddaughter. That's that's mm -hmm. fun. That's fun. I love to know more about doctors, not only about the spine, but I also like to know what they are in, in like in a real uh, out of the office, right? In a real mm -hmm. world. So excited. So you have one granddaughter and you have one daughter. They have more kids. I have three daughters and one son. Okay, okay, so, okay, you have four kids. But this is my first uh, grandchild. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so sweet, super. Uh, I am excited to get to know more about you all as a doctor, but more of the epic technique, especially for two more um, issues. We're going to be talking about TMJ, which is a very popular 
uh, problem that is happening to many of us. I do have a little bit of TMJ and that can definitely affect our spine. We talked today about headaches and migraines and then uh, we, we will be chatting about mm -hmm. one more topic related to the spine and the, the balance, which is so important related to the brain and body connection, which at the end, that's what I love about how you approach health is how we can achieve and maintain optimal brain health through this mm -hmm. technique. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ernest. We, it's giving us a giveaway for our audience. If you go to www.goepicclinic.co, goepicclinic.co, he's going to give you a free phone consultation. If you are anywhere in the world, you'll be able to talk to Dr. Ernest, and he will be able to see the possibility to see you and take uh, this technique as a way of healing. As he said, only two treatments, even two treatments can take you into a reduction of your pain, which is like where we all want to live a life of uh, pain-free life if, if it's possible. Uh, thank you so much. If we can follow Dr. Ernest Pecoraro at uh, his social media channels. He has also a YouTube channel and he also has a Facebook and Instagram. Instagram will be Epic Clinics, uh, Epic Clinic C Gert, right? Yes, that's correct. Exactly. And thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. I enjoy speaking with you. Yes, yes. It's always exciting to, to see that people are actually helping so many with techniques like this. And I'm actually so curious to try it and uh, to learn more about it. Thank you so much. Remember that this weekend is going to be hot. So keep getting your hydration on, on point. And so we don't have any headaches or migraines. If you are drinking alcohol, I always tell everybody to have electrolytes before you go to sleep with a lot of water so you don't get hangover the next day. You nourish your brain. During the night, our brain actually cleans and it cleans the lymphatic system, right? So like if you are having some drinks, perhaps adding some water will help you. And if you want to know more about me, you can also check joafitness.com where I talk about posture, which is, this is my very, very main focus is posture and wellness through nutrition, through, through meditation and through body movement and body awareness. Thank you so much, my friends and enjoy the weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Thank you, Dr. Ernest. You're welcome. Thank you. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and share with your community. Please leave comments below and if you like the episode, click the like button. Have a beautiful day.